Well, hello and welcome. My name's Greg Ernie on behalf of the Methven Professionals Real Estate Group. Uh, welcome to our market report. Today's the 27th of April. Whew, what a last four or five week period it's been from about the middle of March. It really has been a full on period uh, for us all, hasn't it, as we uh, deal with coronavirus and, um, and all the obstacles and hurdles that it's thrown at us. Um, on behalf of our four officers, I thought today I'd give you a bit of a snapshot how we're finding things and what, what is happening out there uh, in the local market, and hopefully that might help you with some of your de decisions and planning going forward. Um, sales, first of all, so far going okay. Um, sale inspections uh, have, have substantially reduced. We've gone from averaging around 300 odd buyers um, attending our open for inspections per week. Now we're only allowed to do private viewings, no opens, um, but we, for the month we've conducted 248 private viewing inspections. For the sales, um, amazing, we've had 18 sales. So 18 happy sellers, 18 happy buyers or couples, uh, and I'm just ecstatic with that number to think in this current market where probably the first three, four weeks, I think everyone was just in a state of shock and um, really not doing too much to have 18 sales so far for the month is an exceptional result. Um, in, to put it in perspective, our numbers, roughly that's about 60% down as far as the sales that our organis organisation would normally do. So yes, the sale numbers are substantially down, but um, overall, we actually haven't seen too much reduction though in the sale price. There's probably been a slight shift, but overall things have been holding fairly well, and it's probably a little bit too early to say at this point. And I think that's largely because a number of property um, owners that we've been chatting with have decided to place or to put on hold their, their selling and have decided to sit tight and not move. And as a result of that, listing levels have substantially reduced and the buyers don't have the choice. So we've, we've found that roughly it's balanced out. I must say probably the last five to seven days, I have felt there's been a little bit of a shift um, in consumer sentiment. There just seems to be a bit more inquiry uh, trickling through, a few more inspections starting to happen. We had a couple of properties last week um, where they had multiple offers, more than one buyer offering on the same and competing for the same property. So there's a little bit of a shift there. And I think probably as we start to see um, restrictions starting to ease, hopefully over the next couple of weeks and months ahead, um, I think there might be a, a gradual uh, improvement in the market. Fingers crossed, we can only hope. For property management, um, the rentals are still extremely busy. I take my hat off to those guys. The work that they've done over the last four to five weeks, looking after our tenants, communicating with our landlords, uh, they have done an exceptional job. We've probably at the moment got about 5% of our tenants that are on some sort of rental um, assistance or payment plan uh, or some sort of an agreement with the owner to help them get through uh, this period. Leasings generally are okay. Over the last week, we've let 15 properties in seven days, and in total, we've let 27 properties for the, de for the month. Um, demand is still pretty good. It's probably down a little bit. Um, rental values have marginally come back, but overall, um, you know, lettings, rent, and demand generally has been fairly, fairly strong and consistent, and our vacancy rate is still around that 1% or less than 1% for our four offices. So overall, there hasn't been too much shift as far as that space goes. For our commercial industrial division, without doubt, these guys have been impacted the most. Um, uh, Russell and Julie that look after that division for us um, currently have about 60% of their um, occupying tenants that are either on some sort of payment plan or uh, rental deferred option or agreement or something like that um, with, their, with their landlord. And look, that makes sense with the amount of shops and factories that are either closed at the moment, um, restaurants, various things like that, without a doubt, that's what's been impacted the most. Um, but we, we have been working through that and I congratulate and, and our landlords, keeping in mind our landlords have got obligations as well and financial commitments, um, you know, for them to have worked with the tenants um, really has, it, it has worked uh, extremely well and I, I think we're probably on top of that now and, um, and hopefully we can just ride out, uh, ride out that period. So as far as our business, I have to congratulate my entire team. Um, for, for like you guys, for them, the last five to six weeks, um, it has been stressful. It's definitely uh, brought a sense of 
um, fear and panic and all of those things that are normal in a crisis like this, but they've all stepped up. Uh, majority of our team are still working remotely from home and that's provided some challenges, but I think overall uh, the way they've handled things and the way they've um, handled themselves, um, I congratulate them all. Um, we are open, our front door, our offices are still open, um, our, we're a team, we're available here for you. We recognise for many of you, if you've lost your job, if you're struggling with your payments, this is a tough time. And if you need any advice, the amount of phone calls that we've had come in from people, you know, Greg, what do you think I could sell if I had to sell my home today? What do you think I could get? What rent could I possibly get if I had to rent it out? We're available for you. If you are looking at your um, options and you need advice as far as information regarding where you might sit and, and things to help with your um, measures, whether it be selling or renting, please contact us. Um, we've been through many tough times before. We haven't been through a, a, a crisis such as this, but one thing won't ever change, and that's our commitment to you, um, our clients. So that's about it from me. On behalf of the Methrin Professionals Group at our four offices, uh, we are available, we are open, and most of all, we wish you and your families the best of health and the best financially going forward. Thanks for watching.